kitchen. This used to be my life right here. Go to the gym, walk a mile home, go to work, get ready, go to work, walk a mile to work. I made sure I stayed walking distance. So, being here in Texas, seeing the family. I don't see my family much. I don't come here as much as often as I need to. It's kind of hard every time I plan to get back to Texas. It kind of, something kind of gets in my way, whether it's an event or something financially comes up and then flights get out of hand as far as price wise. And I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm, I do a lot of things if it makes sense, kind of. And it's like, if it doesn't make sense for me to do it at a certain time, then I won't do it. And like even even going on after his graduation, I think I missed like two events that I was supposed to be at, and that's why it's just kind of hard for me to plan shit. But can't miss my my fam's graduation for a fact. Super important day. Um, things that come around like multiple times a year or multiple times, like you know birthdays and stuff. You can miss birthdays because you got another one the next year or whatever. But when something like that that just comes around once in a lifetime for somebody, I'm told go let's say do it in college also. It's uh, super important. But with with sacrifice, man, you gotta make sacrifices, man. I mean, life's pretty fuck, life's tough, yeah. Life's a bitch. Coming back here, just realizing all the shit that I've been through here. And I know a lot of you think that like oh, you know, Runs had it made and blah 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 from the get go. Like honestly, if you heard my story, even when I was on like the news and shit for football, like you you should know. Like yo, know, I I'm not gonna say I, I started. I'm not gonna say I started from the the gutter. Not like um, when it comes to when I started to live on my own. That's when I came from the gutter for real. Like my mom and dad were together and. uh it was cool, cool so-so until the age I was like 12. I think my dad left the house when I was around 12, 12 years old. And they split up and then things kind of changed. I lived with my mom, um, sister and nephew. So mom taking care of all of us. My dad was still around. He was always down the street or some shit. Uh, anyways, yo, shout out to my nephew. Yeah, he wants to be a gamer. Uh, yo, like gaming is just what, like, I used to whoop his ass. Bro. I used to whoop my nephew's ass. When I would leave the room, my mom would call me, I would pause the game, leave the room, find this little nigglet, half butt naked, sitting there playing my, you know, playing on my save game. Oh, I whoop the shit out that little nigga. Anyways, uh, but shout out to him, man. All I can say to y'all, chase your dreams, do what you want to do, man, and just go through the pain and suffering, find out your calling, and, um, Fuck, bro, just give it your all, straight up. If you ain't giving something your all, then you don't want it that, you know, you don't want it that much. So, we gonna get this last workout in for the day. I have no idea what I wanna do. I feel like I've trained everything but legs. And it's not like I can do legs. I mean, I can do like some shoulders and arms. You know what, we probably just do a shoulders and arms workout. I can get a good uh, shoulders and arms workout here. Ah, look at that. Mm. Yo, I love these right here. These Arsenal strength machines. When I open up a gym, it's gonna be all of this shit, bro. For a fact, just, I just like just sleek. I'm not even gonna have this gray. That gray throws it off. We're just gonna keep all black. Straight matte black. I just like, I'm gonna hold, the whole gym gonna be matte black. It's gonna be darkness. And then I'm gonna have like, ooh, and then like, when it's dark outside, and I'm like, especially when I get the gym to myself, I'm gonna have like them airplane lines, like black lights on the ground, black lights. Like the, like the little airplanes and shit. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be dope. My gym's gonna be fire. This is gonna be like, yo, we gonna throw a club here. We gonna pay you 150 per person. I'm like, yeah. Just kinda, when I left my senior year of high school to Maryland to play football, uh, that's when things start, kinda start to change. At the end of that year, when after I graduated and stuff, I was talking to some girl, got kicked out the house. Um, and then from then on, at that moment when I got kicked out the house, it was just kind of just me. Um, shit, I went off to college, sleeping in the girls, of my ex-girlfriend's car and shit from like two weeks. I mean, it, it was it was from like some days, yeah, I was sleeping in a car. It was dead ass cold in Maryland, bro. 
It gets dead ass cold. Baltimore? Boy. Boy, that's some that's another cold weather right out there. Yeah. Trying to find some dorms to stay in, jumping from dorm to dorm, jumping from one place to another, owing people money because for staying in their house for a week and shit, trying to find out how I'm gonna owe these dudes money. I was working at GameStop. Um, I was working at GameStop, missing classes all the time because I got into that fucking fucked up situation where I had to still pay. Yeah, I couldn't afford school, bro. I don't, I don't, even, even with financial aid, I still couldn't afford school. Um, the school that I got accepted to, uh, Stevenson University. And I'm still, even still to this day, I'm paying off those loans and shit. And fucking, like, that was just fucking tough times. And finally gave up with college and just went back home, lived with my sister. Um, slept on the couch on a fucking, bro, I slept on an air mattress. The same air mattress that Jeff is sleeping on right now. <laughs> that deflates overnight <laughs> for like like a year and a half, yeah, bro. Kept it for the memories. For a fact, bro. Yo, yeah, matter of fact, I've had that air mattress since I used to live here with my mom, bro. That same one. That's the same one that I had in my room upstairs at my mom's house. Damn, bro. You might want to sanitize that joint. <laughs> so funny how like you go to different gyms and like like this one I kind of feel like I gotta keep my composure like like be a, a normal yeah, yeah like like this gym has like you know equipment like strong man stuff powerlifting stuff but you gotta be like civilized like this gym I feel like I gotta be civilized like you want to scream yeah like I can't like out. fucking Hulk out destination is Hulk Avengers start this gym is like the last Hulk <laughs> in Avengers Endgame. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> uh, Hulk smash. <laughs> Y'all better have seen Endgame by now. If you haven't seen Endgame by now. All right. Thanks for the spoiler. Bro. Thanks for the spoiler, bro. Ah, uh, bro, this gonna be somebody. Somebody's gonna be like, you just spoiled it for me. Hey, remember that knockoff Avengers? The mighty Valhalla, how easily defeated you are once you have been robbed of your mighty axe. Bro, Justice Friends, bro. You don't remember ever watching this? That was in Dexter. That was a short in Dexter. That's yeah. Thou may have sapped the power of my axe, but thou art no match for White Tiger. Slept on that shit for a minute. I remember me and my ex-girlfriend back then was when she come to visit from Maryland. Thank you. Uh, coming from Maryland, damn, bro, we wouldn't even, we did, there wasn't even a bed to lay in. We were both sleeping on the air mattress. The one that I have, and I'm sleeping on right now. We were both sleeping on the air mattress when she came through. Uh, despite that was the horrible, most horriblest toxic relationship I've ever been in, but it was whatever. You young, you make stupid fucking decisions. And then after that, man, I just fucking left, bro, to, to New York. Um, on the couch for a year. Shout out to Adam Silver. Um, I went to New York just literally, bro, I, I, I kid you not, bro. I went to New York thinking that $2,000 was enough. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got $2,000 saved up going to New York. Yo, I paid it. I paid for my New York flight $151. $151, one-way flight to New York, bro. One-way flight, bro. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's about to happen. Got two Gs stocked up, you know what I'm saying? And... Yo, shout out to my, one of my, my good, good friends, Wupe. We went to college together in Texas. I was supposed to stay with this dude, Wupe, in college. I mean, uh, in, when I moved to New York, which is the reason why I moved to New York. And he, oh, this looks great. Awesome. Thank you. So, I was supposed to stay with Wupe. And Wupe decides to tell me when I'm already in New York, I got I got a huge black bag. I'm carrying around New York, bro. A huge black bag. Yo, you must have touched down and he just told his fans, like, yo, it's okay. You can see yeah, it. yo, I had to. No, but then he, he told me, like, before, beforehand, and they said it was okay. And then yeah, all of a sudden, assuming, thing, assuming you know, bro. And then I get there, bro. And we, he, I, I guess to soften it, his sister worked at a hotel. So to soften the blow, he's like, hey, man, we got you a hotel for three days here. You know, in the middle of Manhattan, you know what I'm saying? I got you, bro. I got you. 
So I'm like, oh yeah, New York life, living. Like I'm out here three days in a hotel, walking around Manhattan and shit. And then on the third day, on that third day, bro, and he hit me up. He came through. He's like, look, bro, I'm gonna be honest. Like you can't stay with me no more. <laughs> Juji Mufus, I feel like he, yeah, he's the main one that deserves a million, million subs for sure. Cause I don't, I don't think any, I don't know anybody that does content like he does consistently and just puts out just crazy shit, creative shit. Hey, look, my socks, these actually long crew socks. I rode them joints, <laughs> made them, <laughs> made them ankle socks, bro. Oh, cause I don't like how long socks look when I wear these joggers. Now I look like an old man. I've had Whataburger every single day since we landed. Every single day. Last night was the last, the last night was like, all right, all right, I'm done. I can't have it today. And I don't like Cracker Barrel no more. My last two visits at Cracker Barrel have been horrible, so I don't even go there no more. We had Razor Kings yesterday and the day before. real quick for about five minutes. Just trying to open all this shit up. Chest back. I feel like this shit's really working out my nap. Uh, not, yo, whoever gave me this idea on YouTube, I'm listening to you, so thank you to whoever you are. Just weigh myself, I'm 235 right now. 235, 237, something like that. I got clothes on, so I'll say 235. I think it's at 237. I'm surprised, I thought I would be in like the 240s or something. As much as, bro, as much as I've been eating here, I've probably eaten the most here this whole year, throughout this whole year. Like, the most in the, in the few days. Cause every, every time I come to Texas, I mean, when I eat fast food, like well, like I said, Whataburger, Raising Cane's, it doesn't really affect me like when I eat it elsewhere. When I eat it, if I eat it in LA, bro, when just to try to get some fast food, yo, I'd be dead the next day or the same day. Like Chick-fil-A in LA is starting to fuck me up. I only feel right here in America's state. That's Texas. Go Longhorns. <laughs> It was because his aunt um, came to stay with him, or some, or his uncle, or something, and they weren't moving out the room, so there was no room to me, for me to stay with them. So I ended up staying with Adam, which Adam didn't know me like that. Like me moving to New York, that was our first time meeting. He didn't know me at all. He didn't know about me. Um, after jumping from place to place for a few few days in New York, he said, hey, just come to my spot, and you can stay up sleep on the couch, and whatever. That's when his agency was up and running. Yeah, that's when his agency was up and running. I was a model for his agency. And, like, I think that's that's the biggest thing, man. You need somebody to help you get, all, get on your feet. And I realized that you can't do shit, you know, really by yourself. Um, like, yeah, I, I got to where I am from, you know, my work and stuff, but there was always, like, you need back support. You know, I think I think enough back support is just having a roof over your head. I think that's enough back support, or you don't have to worry about being on the streets and shit. You know, those days, I would I was working as a personal trainer for um, for David Barton in Astor Place, walking around with five dollars in my pocket, bro, around New York, and hoping that I could somehow. Um, have enough by the end of the day to get back to Jersey. I would take a fucking a train to Jersey to New York every morning, five o'clock. How long was that? Three hours? No, an hour. Oh, hour? Uh, we're gonna do some laterals for twenty. Probably do a drop set. Try to get a hundred reps all together. Let's go. Some 
she reminds me of Club Fitness in Astoria. Especially for me and my shoulders. Like I do so much pressing and stuff and my front delts take over from everything. So that's looks a lot of times it looks like I don't have delts at all. But like, yeah, laterals is really where it's at. And honestly, hitting laterals really helps me uh, push like training shoulders more. Cause I get the best pump from doing lateral. I don't like, I don't like, the, I don't like the pump I get from my front delt, from front delt raises or getting my front delts like pumped up. As you can see, I'm kind of going a little bit higher range of motion this time. I was on a lower end range of motion over there, keeping constant tension. Tension. Now I'm on a higher one, going a little bit more of that squeeze on the top end of the movement. Why these blades? Why, why these fans gotta be so low though? All I'm saying is, start somewhere. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say that you know I had a, I have some drug use addiction that I had that I'm trying to overcome or I'm trying to, you know, get out of a certain life. I've kind of honestly been a simple, I've always been a simple person. Um, never gotten into much trouble. I was hard headed. Um, I wouldn't say I was troublemaker, but I got into trouble. I mean, yeah, like I, I, I don't know what else to tell you guys. My life's been pretty Simple, simple with this, you know, with this, with this downs. But it's been on a, you know, up and down roller coaster ever since. To be honest, even now, when people think I'm like hugely successful, I'm going through a lot of shit right now. And the people close to me know, of course. But you guys obviously don't know because I mean I don't vlog. I don't put my business out there a lot just because social media is pretty cruel and they judge you so much. Cause I've been going through some shit emotionally, spiritually, physically for the last couple of years now. Let's get some rear delts. You know, finish off with some arms. Yeah, I'm pushing my delts out. Yeah, I'm kind of bodybuilding flexing right now. Let's go up. So we're gonna go heavy for 10. I did 12 right there. I'm gonna go heavier. Knock out 10, do three more sets. Then gotta get back and help my mother and sister move furniture before our flight. this motion right here I go like this so instead of being right here go right here and you'll feel it more go when, when you see it so you go and it comes back I try to put that pressure on the thumb so instead of having it right here coming in on the thumb boom as it comes in for the negative and I feel it a lot more Yeah. 
Those curls are so douchey. What's what we doing? I think we're doing 10 reps each arm right now. Big shock. Whatever happened to him, big shock. Boom, boom, boom. Skip the hole. What's up, big dog? You got a client or something? Yeah, I'm about to lift do a quick one. I'll work. What yeah. you about to do? Chest and legs. Chest? Yeah. Fuck, but I don't, I, don't want, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear chest no more. This is dope. I like this curl right here. All right, stack it up, give it a go. Put on your wrists, the edge motion right there. It's pretty crucial. But what's gotten me here in front of you guys filming? So. As long as I'm changing somebody's life out there, man, that's all that matters. I'm just here to lift weights, play video games, you know, explore, enjoying the journey. From me mentally, people around me, bring up my family, friends, and that's, uh, that's what matters most to me. You know, like when people ask me, like, what keeps you going? It's like, what keeps me going, honestly, first off, I mean, it's like, it's myself, but at the same time, it's um, like my family, because like, like mom and dad, they grew up in a different time. So the things that are available now, you know, and, you know, weren't available in their times. So I work and try to do stuff for them to experience things they didn't get a chance to when they were. Um, in their time, and you know, now that they're older, doing their thing, you know, whatever it is, um, I want to give them the freedom to be able to be out and explore. Like my mom just visited Jamaica for the first time, the beginning. Of, she, my mom, just left the U.S. for the first time in her life, like two or three months ago. And I've been trying to find like her and my dad out somewhere. We're not together, but just separately or whatever. Or like me go with my dad to wherever, or me go with my mom to wherever. And, uh, you know, people grow old, sadly, and I just want to do what I can in the time that uh, everybody's here. But that's it. This Philly Seed Shake pretty good. You season a little bit more, but how them chips? Let me try it I'm going to eat now. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Hey, man.